Hello students, welcome to our history class. I am Miss Annie Itur and today we are going to learn Civics second chapter Diversity in Society part 1. In today's chapter we are going to learn Diversity is a strength and the principle of secularism. And now students, what is society? In the previous chapter, you have learned what is society. A society is a group of individual people coming together and sharing their thoughts, ideas and feelings. That is what is society. Now the next, how is society formed? When people come together to achieve certain common objective, for that reason, society is formed. In order to fulfill needs like food, clothing, shelter and security. Now here, a society has to create a permanent system. Without permanent system, day-to-day -day appearance of society cannot be carried on. The existence of many such systems makes the society stable. What exactly is the diversity? Diversity refers to all the ways that individuals are unique and different from one another. As we know that we are made up of distinct characteristics, we have different qualities or elements and we are different from one another in many varieties of ways or you can say in different varieties. So let's see first. First is the appearance. Now appearance is on one individual basis. If you see, we are different in look, different in appearance from one another. Second is gender. It means that there are male and female members in the society. All these different members follows different religions, they speak different languages and they followed different customs and traditions. According to those customs and traditions, they celebrate their festivals and cultural events in different ways. Different languages and religions. We live among society who speaks different languages such as Marathi, Kannada, Telugu, Bengali, Hindi, Gujarati, Urdu and many more. Also, there are different religions like Hinduism, Sikhism, Jainism, Buddhism, Islam and Christianity. So, if you take the example of your school, of your classroom, if there are 60 students in your classroom, among that 60 students, there are different students who speak different languages. That languages comes through their religions. And through that religions, they have their own way of speaking their languages. Now, there are different festivals. And this different festivals are being celebrated all over the India. Most popular national festivals of India is Diwali. Now, in Diwali, you will see there are firecrackers, houses are being decorated with lights and many other things. Now, here, Diwali is not only celebrated by the Hindus, but by also other religions. The same way, Christmas is not only celebrated by uh, Christians but also by the other people of the caste. The same way there is Holi, Navratri, Durga Puja, Dashera, Janmashtmi, Ganesh Chaturthi, Eid. So these are the festivals that are being celebrated by all over India in different religion. Religion Religion is a social culture system of designated behaviors and practice, morals, worldviews, texts, sanctified places, ethics or organizations 
that relates humanity to supernatural transcendental or spiritual elements every religion has norms that religious norms are principle held by individual in line with the beliefs perceived by their religious leaders religious values reflect the beliefs and practice which a religious andrian undertakes in religious norms values beliefs refers to behavior and attitude which are considered normal while those things that people consider important to them even though people are different from each other in appearance religion and has different language they show compassion to those in need they like to treat others as one would like to be treated every people in society continuously learn and grow both spiritual and intellectual behavior they show respect and non violent when interacting with each other this is what how the people live in the society with their different religions and ethics a country consists of regions with different historical legacies now here in this picture you can see there are different historical monuments built by mughals hindus and sikh rulers and they speak about the glory of this rulers and also tell us about the history behind them this is something that is handed down from one period of time to another period of time often it means something handed down from an ancestors so there are historical heritage so all these things shows indian diversity and though there is a diversity there is a feeling of oneness if you see there are varieties of students in your class still you work as whole class as oneness so there is a feeling of oneness which leads to unity in our indian society now we will learn diversity is a strength now why it is good to be different we live with the groups of people why so we live with the groups of people just to experience the coexistence coexistence helps to understand or increase the level of understanding among the people coexistence or it is good to be different from one another so that each others understanding of tradition customs and way of life is different from one another we learn to respect each others way of life we even adopt certain traditions from others this help us to increase the feeling of unity in the society this social unity help us to face many natural and social calamities together in society as unity we try to help each other as a human beings tend to live grow and flourish in a context of normality this is to say that we can live better cultivate our physical and mental powers and so develop in a social context that is a kind of normality we know for intense that we became gradual familiar with the natural and social environment in which we live and this help us to acquire a sense of stability and security both necessary conditions for developing our abilities and our well being principle of secularism a constitution has made important provision to ensure that all religious communities will have the freedom to worship according to their faith and help to develop a feeling of mutual understanding now we are in this picture you can see there is the constitution of india the preamble of the constitution says that india is a secular nation officially secularism has always inspired modern india now we are 
it ha the people of all belonging to different religions has the liberty of thoughts and can express their belief faith and can worship according to their faith and ethics of their religion different religion worship india a land of diversities diversity of religion caste creed languages geography and customs presents a fine canvas of multi colors religion plays a vital role in the day to day life of the people in india india is characterized by diversity of religions belief and practice india is a secular state with no state religion indian self continent is birthplace of five of the world major religion throughout indian history religion has been an important part of the country culture religion diversity and religion tolerance both established in country by the law and custom the constitution of india has declared the right to freedom of religions to be a fundamental right now what is secularism we live in a diverse society comprising different religion and belief groups full inclusion can only be achieved if the state is neutral with respect to religions and belief we are fortunate to live in an open society where people are free to express their belief secularism then is a neutral state in an open society that is what is called a secularism india is an important secular nation of the world we have great linguistic and religious diversity in our country in order to preserve this diversity in a sound and healthy manner we have expected the principle of secularism accordingly no religion is recognized as the religions of our country every person has the freedom of worship as per their religions or the religions of their choice so your the religious religion of every caste has the freedom to worship or every person has the right to follow any religion and worship their lords and goddess and can worship according to their religion there can be no discrimination among people on the basis of their religion the people of all religions are treated equally by the state so one more value that is mentioned in constitution is equality here in india there will be no discrimination of people on the basis of religion or caste so all people must be treated equally belonging to any religion should be given equal respect by the state opportunities of educations means of livelihood and government jobs are made available to all there is no discrimination on the basis of religion so the provisions are made to give equal opportunity to the people who live in society such as opportunity of education opportunity in government jobs or opportunity to earning livelihood and means of livelihood to fulfill this need we see the constitution has made reservations for weaker section to provide such kind of equal opportunities so your in constitution provision is made for the minorities or freedom of minorities also minority can develop their own institution or development of their cultural and language they can preserve their culture and language through such kind of institution minorities are free to protect their cultural identities as well as linguistic identities it means that they are able to preserve language as well as culture so here the principle of secularism 
has been adopted that the constitution or the principle of secularism has helped to maintain religious harmony in Indian society. That means every people can come together whether they are belonging to different religions. They should have mutual understanding, should live in unity and oneness. That's all for today. Students, I'll stop here with my explanation. The remaining part we will do in our next video. I hope you have understood the lesson. Let us recap to whatever we have learned today. Our evaluation first question, fill in the blanks first. We live among people who speak different dash. The answer is, we live among people who speak different languages. Second, diversity is a rich cultural dash. The answer is, diversity is a rich cultural heritage. Third, there are many languages, religions, cultures, customs and dash in our society. Answer is, there are many languages, cultures, religions, customs and traditions in our society. Fourth, we learn to dash each other's way of life. Answer is, we learn to respect each other's way of life. Fifth, every person has the dash of worship as per their religion. Answer is, every person has the freedom of worship as per their religions. Second question, name the following. First, any two aspects wherein diversity is witnessed in India. Answer is, languages and religions. Second, Two different modes of worship. Answer is formal worship and private worship. Third, the feelings which leads to unity in Indian society. Answer is oneness. Question number three, answer in one sentence. First, write the diversity in Indian society. Answer is there are diversity of languages, religions, cultures, way of life, and festivals in Indian society. Second, why do we live in different groups? Answer is, we live in different groups to experience the coexistence, which help us to increase the level of understanding among the people. That's all for today. I hope students, you have understood this lesson. You can write down all this into your notebook. Thank you students. Remain safe and God bless you.